All right, good morning, everyone. Okay, so um, we're just sitting down here a little past nine, and um, I have a screenshot here of uh, Chopper's trading station. He's a member in the room, and I just wanted to show it off because it's awesome. And I was telling him I'm kind of jealous because it's perfectly symmetrical. He's got the monitor stack, sort of the compute, the laptop, the two monitors, one on either side, and then those nice um, USB uh, portable sort of travel monitors. And it's just like such an awesome setup. So someone asked, how, how do you set up, how do you connect what is one, two, three, four, five, six laptop, six monitors to one laptop? And so we usually what um, what you would do, there's a couple different ways you can do it, but um, that laptop, it looks like a Lenovo. I, I don't know um, if it has, or maybe it's a Falcon, uh, might be a Falcon, but it looks like it has um, probably at least two HDMI, it's a Falcon. It has two HDMI ports, uh, no, sorry, it's got three. It's got an HDMI and then it's got two mini HDMI ports. And then you can use your, um, your USB monitor, your USB port to plug in uh, a USB sort of, um, I don't know what they call it, but hub. And then the two at the bottom are USB. And, and maybe one of them is using an HDMI adapter. So, all right, looks like we've got a couple other people sharing their monitors. So let's check this out. All right, so Josh, um, let, me, let me copy this. Uh, let's see. All right, whoa, dude, look at you. You're going professional, that's awesome. And we'll look at some of these because there's not really much moving that's interesting. The leading gapper is NLSP and the second is ENTX and both of them don't look good. So that's awesome. Um, Robert, let's see, let me paste this. Wow, that's, you're so dialed in there. You've got the window. That's a great looking setup. That's clean. You're using a, a desktop computer. Nice old table. Lots of reminders. That's good. Keeps you centered, keeps you grounded. That's great. A couple candlesticks. I, I might go one step further and throw a couple of uh, your favorite chart patterns on there. All right, let's see. So we've got another one. Um, so these are students posting. Hey, okay, there we go. Hey, there's me with my neon. You, you looks like you got that shirt, that um, that picture the other day. Nice. Uh, Was this like nasal spray? Okay. Um, so you've got laptop one, two, three. You've basically got the same setup as Chopper. You have the same setup except without that top screen, which honestly, like we were saying, a Chopper is going to hurt your neck. Um, you know, looking up there um, all the time. But you know, I mean, I've been. Had, had these upper monitors for forever and it's really not not that big of a deal so uh that's awesome all right let's see what else what else do we have um so we got um okay so wait that was robert and then we got gazo right and then muhammad okay let's look at this this one nice nice clean setup there you've got the stream deck right there you've got a bottle of water what is that a pack of Virginia Slims, okay, uh, nice set of glasses, good, 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 ooh, Fendi, nice, you're stylish, guitar in the background, okay, nice, nice, is that a brassiere, what is, what is that, no, that's just a tangle of uh, chords, you guys better be careful, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch something, all right, copy image, let's see, hey, that's, look at that, that clock, that is so cool, that's awesome. And you've got this, your hotkeys, your, your speakers, your notepad, the TV there. So that's interesting though, because that's a huge screen. But I mean, I guess if that works, it seems kind of funny the way it's positioned, but hey, if it works, cool. Okay, uh, let's see, that's Roy. All right, Manuel, let's see, what do we got here? Wow, a lot of vitamins, a lot of vitamins. All right, he's got a regimen. Okay, that's good. Some toy trucks. Cool, cool. Nice, some chart patterns there. 
it's a, it's a clean setup. I, it's a little more like what some of my earlier ones were like, kind of piecing it together. Nice. Perspective's a little high. I'm guessing you must be like seven or eight feet tall. It's definitely looking down at the, at the system. Mike, let's take a look. Clean monster, a couple other supplements. You got your regimen. Hey, wait, is this the same? You took a picture the same day as uh, with my neon. You guys think that's just so funny, don't you? Well, I'm taking this shirt off. I'm going to throw you off here. All right. Maybe what I'll do, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if our, um, I'm going to try to save these and see if we can put this together into like a collage. Maybe we'll make a blog post of just like every one of these. Um, that'd be super cool. All right. Um, well, now let me keep half an eye on the scanners. Hold on. We're, we'll, 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 we'll go back to those, but let's just see. So leading gapper NLSP doesn't look good. Second leader is ENTX. That doesn't look good. So we got nothing right now. All right. So we're, we, we're good to keep looking at some, some cool trading stations. If you see something pop up, just let me know. Um, all right. So Let's see. All right, so we got some of these. All right, so let's go back. We got Chopper. We got. All right, I'm going to keep each one of these tabs open. I'm going to have 100 tabs open. That way I can just save the images. All right, so we got Mike. Nice. Uh, Heron. Okay, Kumar. Let's check Let's check it out. Whoa, look at that. Oh, my God. That looks like a laptop that like a, and a U.S. Postal Service. What, what is this? Do you, you work for UPS on the side? Wow, this is super professional. You definitely seem like you're into cyber forensics. You know what you're doing. Wow, good for you. Good for you. This is a cool, this is a really cool setup. Is this like a, a put together? It's like a, some kind of kit? That's awesome. I don't even know how you do that. I've never seen something like this. Cool. All right, let's see. Um, Kenneth? Let's look at Kenneth. Okay, he's got to zoom in. My God. Well, you're trading in the simulator. That's a good thing you're in the sim. I'm seeing a lot of red. That's why we practice. Nice. Okay, cool. Rob, let's take a look. That's a cool setup. That's professional. Is that a curved monitor? Super wide. That looks great. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Oh, that's sweet. That's cool. I have a couple of those with my kids too. Nice. Cool. I love it. And you've got those LED strips. Perfect. That lighting is awesome. Okay. I like the look of that. Yep, you've got the three, two, and then this. Yep, that's good. That's a nice one. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. That's so cool. That is so cool. That monitor, look at that thing. That curved monitor. Wow. That's a cool setup. That's really cool. You're all in. I love it. That's awesome, man. Victor, you, you, I don't know. I'm thinking you might be in first place. You're, you and Chopper are tied for first. I mean, we, we go through these, but you, you guys are above and beyond. Let's see. Jessica, let's see. Nice. Day trade, surf, I love it. Buy a computer chair, awesome. You got your green tea, it looks like. That's so cool. I know, and when you have it right in front of a window, it's hard because the window's right there. Okay, let's see. Um, we are the missing piece. All right. Seems like a little uh, shameless self-promotion there. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Seth? That's cool. Yeah, look at those little guys. I, you know, that's very interesting. Those are collectible, right? People collect those. Still don't see anything. I still have my eye on uh, ENTX, by the way. So 
you know, ENTX um, as a continuation setup, if it gets back over, so the levels that I was kind of drawing from yesterday, uh, let's see, kind of coming down there and then kind of coming down here. And then we've also got all the way back to here. So we've got some descending resistance lines that we're kind of coming, we're gonna come run into if it does come back up. Uh, it's, I don't know, but it did make a nice move. METX, I see that popped up, NLSP. I have no trades yet today. I, I just, I missed this move on NLSP. You know, this went without me, as they sometimes do. And so now, I don't know, I. I saw it come up here to the 20s, the 30s, and then it just that huge rejection. So I don't know. I don't really like the look of it right now. I'm kind of waiting to see if anything else pops up that looks better. So let's see. That was Seth's setup. That's a nice one. Hey, cool. That's very cool. So that was Jim. The awesome monitor, you've got that same one, the curved display. Okay, a little bit of a, a smaller station, a little kind of light, nimble. You can move it around. I like that. You can bring it out on the porch even. And wait a second, what's that what's that wall switch? Are we European? Looks well maybe not, but that's nice. Cool. I love those colors. Another big curved monitor. You guys are going all out with those. Good for you. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to put these all together and do something cool with them. Thank you, guys. I wasn't, you know, Chopper got it started, but. So, uh, Warrior Pro students, we have class today at, uh, well, it'll be when we finish trading. So, we'll see when the trading day comes to an end. I'm not really sure. That's cool. You got the LEDs turned on. Nice, Jonathan. Now, that's a cozy here. A little, little tight against the wall there. A little, co little claustrophobic, but it's good. It's good. You got to kind of wedge yourself in there, but I like that. Makes it work. Nice, Luca. Hey, that's cool. Got a lot going on. It's a little busy, but if it works, and then you've got these guys. Yeah, that's your keeping you focused. Game time. Oh, you got some lady right there. Who's that? Or is that a fellow? That's a man, Derek. All right, let's see. Um, nice. All right, did we get this one? Nice, that's awesome. Pickle! All right, let's see what Pickle's got. Just the bull, okay, nice. And a couple dollar, $2 bills. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Someone's logging in with an AOL account. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh boy. Someone send the rescue squad. Josh needs help. Uh-oh, Brandon's got it worse. Now back to some real stations. Nice. That's so cool. Craig. You know, I mean, this is, it's, hey, this is cool too. We, we just, we all, every single one of us, we love sitting down here in the morning, in this, this is our zone. This is our workstation. Now it's Friday, we've got about 12 minutes to the bell. I'm a little disappointed that we don't have any good looking gappers, uh, but some days are like this and this is a reminder just to be grateful for the privilege to be able to maybe have a day where eh, we don't trade much and that's all right. Trade the best, leave the rest. I'll import my trades, but um, where I'm sitting right now on the week, let's see, I was up 20,000 yesterday. Um, let's see, Monday was like 6,000, Tuesday was 47,000. 
So I'm sitting at 67, 70, 75,000 roughly, not quite, seven, oh, a little over 70,000 on the week, even if I don't trade today. Can't complain about that. I'm much better off waiting for eight quality setups than overstaying my welcome on the junky stuff. Nice, Elvis. This is a great station. Look at that drop ceiling. That office phone. Someone's someone's working. Oh, we got one with a selfie. Someone first one, first one out of so everyone's all focused on their trading station, and then here comes Jason. He's like, "Hey, here I am." Nice man, that's cool. I, so I don't know, you're so you're in Hawaii, or you're just wanting to be in Hawaii. That's cool. That's awesome. He likes long walks on the beach. He's definitely, definitely looking for a partner there. All right, Vernon, nice, very cool, Western Canada. Michael, love it. You guys have some amazing setups. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. That doesn't really look super trading. Jacob just threw, threw one in there, he threw me off. We've got 10 minutes to the bell. Nice, lots of notes, keeping yourself focused, gotta keep yourself on track, that's the way. JB, let's take a look. JB's got his 100K club badge. Good for you, look at that. So, two of those monitors. Apples, apples. Those are, those are, that's some money on those apples. Cord management, not, not the most impressive. I think you have some room for improvement there. What is this, a little socket wrench? Okay. What, what kind of car keys do we have here? What is that? I uh, can't tell. Is that alcohol? What's that? What do we have? Hmm, interesting. Andrew's got a cool setup here. Look at the window. Is that rosemary? Sure is. So I'll get a nice sprig of rosemary and... That's great. Aromatherapy. Ooh, here we've got another cool one. And by the way, that view is fantastic. That view out the window is beautiful. Really, that's that's awesome. That's cool. I like that one. Well, this is the morning show today. We're just checking out some awesome trading stations. Let's refer back to the gap scanner real quick. Nothing else other than FRSX. So NLSP right now is still sitting kind of the same. We've got this high pullback right there. So the ones that I have on watch, um, NLSP and ENTX, those are the two that are lead, the leading gappers, but neither of them look really good right now. Of course, that's fine. At this point, I probably wouldn't take a trade given that we're um, only 10 minutes to the bell. AMPG popping up a little bit. News at 9.15 receives a $500,000 order. <clears throat> yeah, so how much is it up? Only 8%. I mean, it's it's moving up there, but it's it's not up a lot. It's not up high enough on the gap scan. So I'm, I'm not gonna jump on that just yet. Let's see, what was the last one we got? Um, so was that, who was that? Is that Kevin? No, wait, where, where was this one? I don't even remember. All right, well, we'll put a new one out. Let's see, new tab. So Kevin. Cool, yeah, okay, we did look at that one. I thought, maybe not. Wait, hmm, now I'm confused. All right, well, I'll leave it up so I can go back and check. All right, nice. 
Nice, got some toast. Some, is that grapefruit? That's a great way to start the day. Very healthy. I like that green lamp, the glass lamp in the back. Nice, nice here. This is cool. Awesome setup. I love that. Brian, let's take a look. Awesome. Very nice. It's very cool. There you go. Look at that. Look at those light bars. I love that. Ooh, this one, this one, this no, this next one coming up. This I love the pegboard. This is just so me. I love it. That's so awesome. Michael, that's so cool. Not to not to dismiss the one right before it cuz th this was cool too. This is cool. I and I, I do I do like this. This is very organized. It's very clean. But this this speaks to me. Okay, that's a cool one. Nice, huge monitors. You guys are stepping up with those. Very nice. Interesting, interesting. If it works, it's a little unusual, but that's cool. Looks like we got another vertical set up here. Vertical, verticals, yep. Nice. It's a nice clean, clean station. All right. Well, why don't I, um, why don't we switch gears? Thank you for those who have shared these. These are cool. Um, why don't we get kind of, we've got five minutes to the bell. So, oh, we already saw this one. Um, so we'll get kind of, and we saw that one too. Um, maybe some of you guys posted it twice. I don't know, but yeah, we'll kind of get dialed in here and see whether or not we can find anything to trade uh, and I, I just don't know it doesn't look like there's a lot um, there's a lot moving so it might be kind of a a slow day like I said a, a no trade is um, no trade day is, is certainly better than red trades ENTX NLSP neither of those are looking great right now Nice, you've got a couple of the bull flag patterns. Perfect, real smart. Breakout or bailout, green is good. I think we got that one already. Bruce, let's take a look, man. Nice. Ooh, Tyler. GameStop, I didn't even really, I didn't even look at it, I just don't. I don't know. I just don't really care to look at it. I'm just that's just too risky for me at this point. I think I just got to let it go. I I made made some money on it, lost some money on it, but can always come back another day. This looks like the Lenovo background. Or is that a Windows background? So we're going to do uh, continue the student interviews today for Warrior Pro students. So you guys can stay tuned for that. We'll uh, basically as soon as I finish trading, which may be on the early side, unless we see something uh, all of a sudden pop up and look really good, which is possible. You know, it sometimes happens. Obviously, the best days are days where I already have a nice start pre-market. Uh, the worst days would be a, a day like today where I've got nothing pre-market and then coming into the open. You know, still, um, uh, still nothing looking great. Let's see. That I love as well. Oh my God, I love it. Out in the out in the shed. It's so cool. So those on YouTube, do you see anything anything interesting? Anything moving? Anything I should be looking at? All 
All right, so don't post any more. We've we've got we've got more than enough here for an epic collage. NLSP is coming back up. I see that. So it's running into its descending resistance line right here. So can it get back above the volume weight average price and hold above it? We'll see. Two minutes to the bell. Someone's still got a Christmas tree up. My God, it's March. Let's pull it together. Nice, and the lighting on point. Copy. So some of you guys are probably, you know, doing a little bit of your kind of freelance stuff, maybe doing a couple YouTube videos. Maybe you got a little side hustle going. That's awesome. Very nice little joystick there. So I suppose I'll keep an eye on NLSP at the open and we'll see whether or not, um, you know, it does pop up. It's right underneath the volume weight average price. And if you recall, there was a 200,000 share seller that was sitting at uh, six. So I don't know, where is girl? She was around here somewhere. By the way, I wanted to show you guys my maple syrup from uh, those, some of you guys saw on Facebook, I uploaded a video of me boiling yesterday. So cooking down the maple syrup and this, this batch came out really nicely. This is good stuff right here. Okay, so we're right underneath the volume weight average price. Let's see, I'm gonna close this, close this. So see that surge? So the first pop, question is, does it hold? Wait for a dip. So let's just see. I'm, I'm taking the long here just to ride this momentum. Uh, as you saw in my orders, I was adding into that pop. The high is 57. And now the question is, does it hold? I'm, how, how is it possible that I'm only up $160? It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna do a dip trade on this. I'm gonna add here at 26. So I'm gonna buy the dip for the break over 650. This is the only one that looks good. So this is, this is kind of all we got here. So look for the break of 650, and then we're looking for that curl up to seven. Adding there at 650, then 665 is my next add, then looking for seven. Holding, looking to add over 660. So this right now is a one minute micro pullback. The high is 59. My new order goes at 61. Adding there and taking a little off the table into that breakout. Five grand, new order 675. So you guys can see my position window right there. That was a little micro pullback right here. The high is 70, new order goes at 70. Adding there, 70. I'm not sure if I got anything filled. Oh, I did, I got filled at 78, I got filled high. So I lost a little bit on that because I sold it at 70. I'm going to watch for a long over 80. Watch a dip. Starter at 62, buying the dip. So trying to accumulate here. And now through 75. And 80 is an add. Watching over 75. Cutting it before I uh, give back too much at 51. I'll let it dip. So up 2,900, it's not bad. I could do a dip trade on this again. So we kind of have a double top at the high right here. The low of this candle is 13. So right now it feels like my quotes are kind of stalling a little bit, like they're just not as fast as they should be. Added back at 37, trying to do a dip trade. Trying to anticipate the first one minute candle to make a new high, which would be over 57. Adding there, 50. So taking some of that off the table, new order at 70. 
at it 70, looking for the breakthrough 80. So I have 6,000 share starter here. I'm taking that off the table at 5,600. So all I did really is make back the loss. New orders at seven. Hey, as a reminder, I didn't put this up uh, a second ago. For those streaming on YouTube and Facebook, I just want to put, that, put out that reminder that day trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money, in case you didn't already know that. Please, please, don't try to blindly follow me or anyone else for that matter. I bought back at 38. I'm trying to do a dip trade on this. You've got to recognize the inherent risk with trying to do something like this. Most people lose money. So trade in a simulator. Do yourself a favor. That way if you lose, well, it's not real money. Not yet. ENTX is also popping up. Uh, I'm going to hold on that for a second. Keeping my kind of eye a little bit more on... NLSP maybe, but ENTX over 50. So the thing with ENTX, um, I'm adding there at 50, I'm buying that. So the thing on this is that um, we're, I think that we've got uh, room here. We've got room up to this descending level and it's going into a halt. So the question now is, does it halt? I'm gonna take the profit off because see, how it thins out there, there's only one bid at 65. So from 52 or 50 to 62 is a first trade and I can always get back in. These were our two leading gappers. So these were the two most obvious stocks to be watching. So it looks like ENTX is halting. I was afraid it was gonna do a false halt. I'll put a new order at seven. I can always get back in. Now NLSP, we do have a very clear double top at the high. But this is a blue sky setup, no resistance because it's a recent IPO. So I'm going to watch here. I'm taking the long back in. I feel like this 10 second chart is starting to curl right here. And if we can get the break over 90, then we're going to be looking really good. So the high there is 75. I'm watching for an add through 75 and 85 for the break of 90. But you know, as, I, as I'm looking at it, it's certainly a bit choppy. So let's see, can we get that break of 70? We've got an ascending support trend line right through here. So should I add here? I'm gonna add right there, because I think it's basing, and I'm looking for that break through 70. So there's 68. There's 70, there's 75. I took a little off the table at 72. There's 74, there's 80. Taking a little more off the table at 80. New order at 90. I can add back at 90. If we break to the high, I'd be okay with doing a high day break uh, for the long through seven. I wanna see it hold 60. Definitely feels a little choppy feels a little thick, like there's some sellers stacked up here, selling off, I'm buying the dip there at 50. So just bought the dip at 56. That was a dip trade off of whole dollar support. Now over 75, adding at 70, trying to kind of accumulate here for a trade through high of day, over 85, adding at 80. So now I'm sizing up for the breakthrough, $7. Added right there at 89. Looking for the squeeze through seven. There we go. Boom. Out of that, that was a nice trade. Okay, so our high, 712. New order, 710. Watching for back over seven. Buying the dip there at 93. In on the dip for the break back over seven. Then 705, 715, I want to see the break of 712. Adding there 715. Now looking for 720. We're breaking through the highs. That's what I like to see. We got 707, 710. I, well now, can it hold seven? Let's just see, because I took a little off the table there, having it broken that level and then pulled back. I don't love that that was a topping tail up to 20. And I added a little high on it. I actually added at 719. I, I top tick add at the high of day. So I had to sell that 
for, I don't know if it was a loss or whatever, but let's see if it can hold seven. Can it hold above seven? ENTX, now I'm seeing $12 on the bid. And if it opens at 12, I am gonna cry that I sold my position at 62. I'm showing 11 on the bid right now. We, come on, this, ha, oh boy. All right, well, let's just see what it does. We'll see what it does and we'll just, we'll see what it does. I, I don't know what to say. We've got about a minute to resumption. It's probably gonna be a 10 minute long haul. I, I, I can't imagine it's gonna open that high, but I mean, uh, that could have been, I mean, I put, oh man. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So NLSP, I'm still dialed in on this one. Back over seven. Next trade. 722 is the high. Trading with a little smaller size up here. Buying the dip at 95. Looking for the break over 10. First one minute candle to make a new high is 11. So over 10, I can add. Little chop there. There's a thirty thousand. I'm I'm selling it. I'm taking a loss. Lost three grand on two two three grand on that trade. ENTX. I'm showing ten forty. So on this one, I'm going to put an order. I'm going to watch for a dip and a rip. I'm showing ten dollars. Let it dip. Maybe it halts going down. People take profit, but then look for the rip if it gets some short squeeze, some short covering. Orders at eleven right now. So I'm up 14,000 on the day. I've got a bit of a cushion. It's still halted. Just giving it a second. Still showing a $10 resumption. NLSP, the high was 720. Look at that drop. Ooh, I don't like that. But that's what happens when you have a false breakout. You had a false breakout on it. And now it kind of ruins the five minute chart with that big red candle. <sighs> All right. Rob says if it opens at 11, he's buying everyone lunch. So someone just said, pro tip, short if I exit. Well, then you're short. ENTX at 662 because that's where I sold. I thought it was a false halt. We'll see what happens. Okay. I, I thought it was a false halt because it hit 65, but then there was only uh, like one order there. We were talking about this with, during Jason's um, interview. Uh, and when there was only one order, I was kind of like, I don't know, I think it might be a false halt. So I don't know, I, I was wrong. It, it ended up halting. Raj says he's uh, short ENTX in the simulator at 6.54. All right, so we'll see what happens on that. But you know, part of trading is, you know, taking profit off the table. They'll go, they'll go without you. Sometimes they go without me, and if that's the case here, I can always get back in if there's a new setup, but it's just the way it, the way it goes. So I really got like one good trade on NLSP. And then a few kind of smaller trades when it was a little choppier.
So some of you guys know, uh, we just crossed over 750,000 subscribers last month um, on YouTube. And we put together a coupon code YouTube750. Uh, so I'll give you guys the link for this. Um, but we're gonna uh, end this coupon code. So there's, uh, there's the link, just as a reminder, if you wanna use it, to use it before we, uh, we deactivate it. All right, so ENTX, I'm showing 997 resumption. And my kind of thought on this is that if it really opens this high, anyone that maybe was swing trading it short from yesterday, maybe there's some people that were swing trading it short with some big size that are getting squeezed. That's, I, that's the only thing that I can figure would result in this kind of gap. So if that's the case, I'm gonna try to ride the momentum. You know, I mean, I, I think that that's the right move. Resumption is going to be in about 40 seconds on ENTX. We'll see where it resumes, but. I'm showing 989. Uh, maybe that's wrong. Maybe it just, who knows, but that's what I'm showing right now, 989. So order for me, I'm gonna put it at 10.50 and I'm gonna do dip and then look for a dip and then a rip. Showing 9.75, 9.71, so it's coming down a little bit. You may have some profit taking, but I'm thinking dip and rip. Still halted. So we coming up on a 15 minute halt. I just give it a few, few more seconds to see if it resumes, but it is still halted. So, gotta keep waiting. GameStop, mm, yeah, costs. Yeah, just not really into either of those uh, right now. I just think they carry too much risk for me. Nice there. Hey, you've got your kombucha, your synergy. I like that. You know, the thing is it kind of gives me heartburn. Seal, hit the scanners. NLSP is coming back up. I'm back in NLSP for the break of seven. I'm looking for 720. This thing, I'm looking for a squeeze through the highs. I try to jump on this. When it starts to turn around, this is what I usually expect would squeeze some early short sellers. And interestingly on um, ENTX, it opened at an odd time and at 750. So now I'm not really sure what to think about it. So I'm kind of like, I just sold NLSP to focus on ENTX and I'm confused. I'm confused why it was showing 11 and then opened at an odd time. All right, NLSP, let me pull this one back up to focus. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure what to think about that, but NLSP, can I get a dip trade? I'll do a dip here at 72, 74, just to try to ride that momentum back to seven. No, I gotta cut the loss. So now I've given back almost five grand. I was up 17,000, I'm up only 12,000 now. This is giving these big rejections. I'm dip trading it one more time there at 25, but I'm not really expecting that that's gonna be a, a huge win, but I think it'll pop back up. Only 6,000 shares. I'm selling it flat. Huh, all right, well, I don't know. I'm not really sure what to think here. NLSP rejecting that seven level. I thought I thought it would if it broke that level seven, we'd rip right to seven fifteen, seven twenty. 
ENTX is showing $10 again, but I, I was just thrown off by the open so low compared to what it was looking like. So I didn't trade it. I didn't, didn't, or didn't add to it. So I don't know why now if I traded, I'd be coming in after the second halt. So I don't know, we'll keep NLSP on watch if it does come back up to seven, uh, but it's not a pretty looking chart and ENTX does look better comparatively, but I kinda, I don't know. Don't wanna give back too much, you know? Nice, some more setups here. Girl boss, cool. I like that. Nice. Whoa, hello. That's that's like a full office. You've got three trading stations down there. I don't know what's going on there, but interesting. Big, huge TV. I think it's humongous. Healthy diet of Cheez-Its and whatever that is. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, nice. Ooh, look at this one. That's cool. Nice. Look at that ceiling. Is that cedar? Must smell great in there. No mothballs. It's the it's the fur coat closet. Nice. Nice. That's fantastic. That's great. The way you have those charts set up there. That's a good student. That's interesting. Never seen one like that before. Will you lay on the floor? Either that or he's like a foot and a half tall. Someone mentioning seal. Yeah, I see it, but I don't know. ENTX, so the halt time was 46.41. So resumption should be in about 20 seconds, showing 9.25. I'll see if we get a little dip and rip. It's obviously, it's obviously strong, but I gotta go with smaller size because I'm chasing it a little bit. So putting an order at 9.50, watching for a possible dip and rip. It seems like it must be catching some short sellers off guard. But halt down is not impossible. It also opened at an irregular time, which is always a risk factor when that happens. So still halted. I mean, they're usually exactly five minute long halts. That's cool, I like the brick outside. Coca-Cola. So you have these very, these two clear topping tails on this one, up here and right there. Big rejection candles, below the VWAP, risky stuff.
<laughs> all right, all right. Come on, that's not real. That's cool. Nice built-ins. It's a good looking setup. Oh, here we go. Now we got one with some big windows. That's awesome. Love those windows. That's very cool. So don't just don't roll it. Don't press the button to open the garage door. You're going to lose those paintings and the whiteboard. Otherwise, that's awesome. Crazy. Those monitors are so big. That's a cool map. Appalachian Trail. There you go. Still watching NLPS on another monitor, just in case. It would be kind of strange if it does do something really crazy, but... You never know. ENTX showing $8 resumption right now. Hi, the VWAP here is 40. If it breaks through VWAP and breaks through the half dollar, maybe there's some quick trades. I just, I see sort of this resistance there at the half dollar. But it, it is technically breaking through the VWAP there, so let's see if we can get over the half dollar. I'll leave an order so it's ready. So right now is a pullback back underneath VWAP. Scott looking good. He's got his coat on. He's sacrificing on Wyoming. He's sacrificing on paying for heat so he can keep trading. He's got his priorities in line. Same as me. I would do the same thing. That's interesting. Someone's into music. Very cool. First one minute candle to make a new high, back through 40, could be a possible trade. It's a little risky because it's right at the VWAP. Quick trade there. Can we get the break? Is it gonna break the half dollar? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm backing out. I'll get back in if it breaks the half dollar. That was a first one minute candle to make a new high. New orders at 53 in case we can get over the half dollar. So you see that was a one minute setup right there. A one minute uh, false breakout right at the volume weight average price. It's not uncommon. That's why you gotta be so quick to pivot on those. Very cool. David, nice, nice decorations. ENTX resumed. <laughs> Oh man, I just, I can't chase it up here. I just can't chase it up here. I'm sorry, I wish I could. I just, I'm afraid of a halt down, the risk. So now is getting its kind of first little area of pullback. The high is 80. Uh-oh, here we go. So now you're getting a drop. Halt level's still 80. Okay, so there's something happening there. Halt level moved up to 35. Boy, maybe this is a good time to put up my disclaimer in case you didn't know, trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money. This is high risk stuff and it's going without me and I'm getting the FOMO, but now we've got third halt going up. So there could have been a quick, a quick trade there at the uh, $9 spot. I put two orders at um, 81 and I didn't fill, or nine, sorry, 91 right there. 91, 91, didn't fill, jumped without me. 
So maybe uh, some of that momentum on ENTX brushes off onto NLPS. Maybe that's optimistic, but. See if it can break through the half dollar. Adding right there, 49 for the break through the half dollar. I'm kind of thinking because of what we have on ENTX that it's gonna carry over. So taking a little off the table, pay myself new order at 75 to add back. Adding at 68 right there. Now looking for the rip through seven. Adding at 88, scaling into this. Adding at seven, now looking for this squeeze. There we go. Very happy with that trade. Very happy. We finally got the break of VWAP. New order at 710. I'm going to let it dip. Adding at 92. Buying the dip right there. Can we get the break of 20? The high a day, 720. It's a double top. I'm adding at 705. I'm buying that dip for the breakthrough 720. And I'm thinking if we break 20, we're going to get a move to 750. I'm holding right now. This is a micro pullback, and I'm looking to add for the break of 720 and a move up to 750. I think because of the momentum on ENTX, this is gonna carry us a little higher. There you go, there's 18, there's 19, there's 20. Looking for the add at 20 and then a target of 35, 40. Holding right now. Dip trade adding at 06. Buying at 06 for the breakthrough 20. Quick target at 2830. Watch here. Adding at 702, scaling in. This is a dip. Now we look for the rip through 18. Adding at 19. Adding at 18, actually. Filling at 18. Looking for the break through this level over 20. Watch here. This is the spot where we're going to get the one minute micro pullback, the break through 20. Here we go. There's 15. I'm going to look to add for the break through 20. There's 12. Adding there at 19. There's 30. There's 40. Taking it off the table. I think that's it for me. I think I'm going to say I'm, I'm happy with that. Maybe, maybe a dip trade. I'll do a dip trade at 70. Maybe a dip trade. If it pops back up to 90. The problem is I want it to rip to 750. I took it off at 81 on the dip trade. It's always one more. So now I'm going to be in the cool off. So I'm gonna reduce my share size for the rest of the morning, bring it down a little bit. That way I don't do what I did yesterday, which is give back you know, a third or two thirds or half of my gains, whatever. Look at this, that's cool. I like those wooden panels. We, by the way, have 78 million shares of volume on NLSP up 140%. And ENTX, it's only 29 million shares of volume, but boy, that move from six to 950, I'm up 1800 bucks on it. I left so much money on the table, but I think I traded NLSP fairly well. So uh, we do have to be cautious because we keep having these false breakout candles there, there, and there. But if it can get over now, 35, I'll put my new order at 735, 740. I was hoping for a quick squeeze right up to 750, but it, it did struggle a little bit there at that 720 spot, and I was sized up a little bit heavy, so I, I was like, this either rips right to 750 or I need to start taking it off the table. Josh, this looks like a nice setup. This is my happy place. I couldn't agree with you more. I look forward every day to sitting right here. I love my trading station, and the worst news I have for you guys is that tomorrow is Saturday. No trading. We gotta wait till Monday. Those on Facebook and YouTube, uh, if you haven't uh, already hit the thumbs up, please hit that thumbs up. Kind of just, I didn't think really anything was gonna happen today, so I was like, I'll just keep running this and we'll do the, uh, check out all these cool trading stations. But this is cool. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't love the ceiling, but uh, love those panels. You've got these walls, you've got a bunker. It's a plaster. ENTX resumed, hit a high of 10. So 1045 is the next halt level. So watch here, break a 10, I bought a thousand shares. 
I'll just throw a little, little something out there. Why not? I've got a cushion. So this is a pullback. I'll add it 51. So looking for that curl back up there through 10. Average is 65. Get the break of 10. And then you have your first one minute micro pullback. Watching for an ad over 85, 95, adding at 86 there for break of 10. No, it's not breaking. I'm in at 78. Let's give it another try to come back up to 10. Nah, lost some money on it. 1800 bucks. It's all right. Life is good. Green. I'll come back. Come back tomorrow. It was a risky trade. I went with small size, but... I thought I'd just, yeah, just give it a little taste, but you know, it's, it's just the challenge. Three halts in a row going up, and so it's kind of a stupid trade, but you never know. So the high was, it says 1016. I didn't see it break 10. It didn't look like it broke 10 to me, but okay, so here the thing is, for what's worth, we did just have a false halt going down. So now you might have, in this area, this is the logical place where someone would probably be thinking this is a short, right? It's a big move. So if it broke over the high, back over 10, that could produce a short squeeze. That could, it might not, but that's, that's what, how I would look at it now. NLSP, man, I don't know what to say on that one. It just keeps having those big red candles. I'll do a dip trade at six just for a bounce back up to 610. It's a, to me, a bit of an irrational sell off that much of a, a flush. So I'd look for 610. Whoops, let's see. Order at 615 to take a little profit off the table. No, it's not coming up that far. And ENTX is hanging out down here. What a move, though. That's incredible. I mean, that was a huge move. I didn't really, I kind of, screwed the whole thing up, but still impressive. So you broke the low there of 62 down to 39. It pulled back a little bit more. What happens on the first one minute candle to make a new high on something like this? You know, is it given the fact that it's already so extended? Is it just a false breakout? The high of this current candle is nine. Or does it, does it make a bigger move? I don't know. So the high of that candle is nine. Feels like it's kind of basing out a little bit here. I put an order, maybe the high of that candle was 9.39, 9.40. So hold nine. I'll take a starter there at 9.27. I'm kind of looking at the first candle to make a new high over 9.39. I could be wrong on this, but the first candle to make a new high, a break over 9.39, and then a curl back up to 10, that would be a pretty big deal. So I'm in at 9.24, and I'll put an order at 9.50. Over 9.50 would be my ad spot. And then 9.75, 9.85, 9.95. So I'd start scaling in that first candle to make a new high, which is going to be 39, 38, 39. And see if it does want to rip through the half dollar. So right now, just holding this, I want to see if it wants to break through 950. 939 is our first one minute candle to make a new high. We're definitely curling back up. It's a five minute setup here. Over 950, like I said, is my ad. Adding at 950. Next ad's 975, adding right there. Now I'm gonna add for the break of 10. I'm looking for this to squeeze back to $10. I mean, when you get this kind of action, you usually don't wanna run away from it. High of that candle is 980. So let's see what this does here. It's a bit of a drop on that. I gotta cut it. Oh, gave back half my gains and I'm done, I'm done. I'm walking away up 13,000, lost 18 grand on ENTX. Oh, I overstayed my welcome. But you know what? Green is good. Green is good. Hands off the throttle. Putting it down. Putting it down. I thought it looked good. I thought it looked good. It, as it was curling there, first candle to make a new high. 
Ah, what can you do? 13 grand, it's a green day. Better walk away, I've given back half. So now this is what I have to do. I've gotta shut everything down. I can't look at charts for the rest of the day. I have to remind myself that I've got $13,000 more in my pocket than I started this morning. Yes, I gave back more than half. Easy come, easy go. That's the way trading is. Trading is risky. So, you know, I, I overstayed my welcome. Had a couple of really nice trades and I, I pushed my luck. So there's my disclaimer as a reminder of what you just saw. Easy come, easy go. Gosh, that was nasty, that drop. I, th I thought that was looking like for the squeeze right through 10. I really did. I really thought it was looking for the move through 10. Oh, well. I'll be back on Monday. And students, we're going to keep, uh, keep rolling with class. So 13,000, green day. Funny end of the week, but at least it's a green day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or on Monday. Okay.